everyone uh, my name is Monor in this video I will go through um, with Oracle data card um, basic structure so what is Oracle data card Oracle data card is a configuration consists of um, a primary database and a single or multiple um, copy of the database which is no which known as standby database so these two databases are connected through that oracle net service um, here you see that one so there, mainly there are what we say when we say the primary database primary database is a uh, that we known as a my production database uh, and uh, standby database is nothing but um, mainly copy of the uh, primary database so this data guard is a digital recovery solutions so when something happen to the primary database or primary database is unavailable then we can convert this standby database as a primary for business continuity now let's go to oracle document So from Oracle document um, under HA high availability section I am going to data guard section so data guard concept and administration so if I go there so here you will see if I explain this part so there are mainly two types of physical standby database one is in two types of standby database one is physical standby database and another one is logical standby database so physical standby database is exact copy of primary database which is identical to primary database block by block basis whereas logical standby database may not exact copy of the primary database so when I'm saying may not that means if we want limited schema copies across to um, like replication to uh, logically standby by side we can do that one so he, physically standby by database works based on redo apply so it received redo from the primary database and then apply those redos to physical standby by database in case of logical standby by database there is a log minor process we need to set that up which transforms the data that we do receive from the primary database it converted to SQL statements and then those SQL statements are executed on the standby side now uh, let's talk about um, okay uh, there are um, few other subtypes if I say um, under physical standby database one is snapshot standby database and another one is active data guard so what is snapshot standby database snapshot standby database is um, uh, when we where when or where we can open physical standby database as a read write mode so that we can do any test without impacting our primary database and when when our test is over we can convert back to physical standby database so what happened when we mm, change physical standby database to snapshot standby database standby database gets all the redos so transport is still happening but physically stand by database which is currently snapshot stand by database it does not apply all the redos it only applies all the redos when we convert back to physical stand by database there is a another subtype of physical stand by database which is in um, subtype or we can convert that physical stand by database to active data guard mode so 
active data guard mode is where we change the physical standby database read only mode and this database is getting the reduce and applying at the same time so we are getting live production database so the benefit of this one that we can um, do any kind of um, reporting uploaded from the production there is other thing that we can do that um, uh, enable blockchain tracking and do an incremental backup okay now let's go to some structure here so here left side is my primary database so let's talk about um, uh, the um, background processes so when we do any changes or any transaction uh, is happening or it starts then all those changes are stored into the redo buffer after that let me put some number so here after that uh, log writer uh, process uh, flashes all the uh, information or reduce from here to here so it's coming to online redo log files so log writer process is coming here and there you see that there is a uh, log writer network services process so if we set that up the sync process like in between primary and eastern by side then these processes send reduce straight from redo to physical standby side this is another process I can say this next one then you see that another process is archiver so archiver processes archives the online read log files to archive read log files so these are the uh, main processes here you see that log writer archiver and uh, log writer network services processes in my primary side now let's go to stand by side so here you see that there is a remote file server process so the main objective of this remote file server process is to get the redo information from the primary site to my standby site So what happened here? It's just get the redos and uh, this redo data goes to standby redo log files. And for any region, if if um, like twelve C onwards, there is like physical standby databases by default real time apply. So it will uh, goes reduced to standby redo logs. But if standby redo log files are not there, then it will uh, write to archive redo log files so here is that next process is archiver process so this archiver process is my standby site this is not there is no relation in a sense like uh, they, they are separate archiver process on my standby site and archiver process on my primary site so this archiver process process generated archive redo log files from here to archive read log files and next is coming that you see that MRP process or LSP process so MRP process is managed recovery process which is normally or mainly does um, uh, redo apply services for physical standby database so it does managed recovery process and logical standby process logical standby process applies the redos that gets from archive read logs or SQL format to the standby site. So 
I hope that you got a very good idea about um, Oracle Data Guard architecture. Uh, in next video, I will go through um, create to create a physical system by database. Thank you. Thanks for watching.